These are the Aristo Steampunk playing cards. What up crew, as I mentioned like 20 seconds ago, today we're gonna to be taking a look at these Aristo playing cards, beautifully hand drawn by Aristo himself, manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company, traditionally cut with an air cushion finish. On a side note here, this deck is just volume one. We're gonna be talking about volume two that has a Kickstarter later in the video. Taking a quick glance at the tuck case, you can definitely get a very strong steampunk vibe from it, which is a huge plus because that's clearly what we're going for. Uh, and I can also see that the front of the tuck case is actually on the back and the back of the tuck case is actually on the front. So that definitely reminds me of uh, one of David Blaine's uh, Gator back decks. Pretty cool. Looking at the front of the tuck case, you can clearly see the back design of the cards. And if you want a steampunk vibe, you get it. You get all of it right here. You get the cogs, the gears. If you want steampunk, this is steampunk. Taking a look at the back of the tuck case, you can see the Ace of Spades design and right inside the spade, you can see poker deck. Aristo, and on the bottom it says playing cards, SPCC, which I would probably guess is steampunk playing cards. Simple as that. And I gotta add, I do like that frame look that this tuck case has on both sides. I think that looks pretty cool. And now you guys can go ahead as always and take a look at the sides of the tuck case yourself. And then as always on the bottom, you see the usual manufacturing stuff. Now let's go ahead and open up this bad boy right here. Opening up the tuck case and taking the cards out, we can see that the back design is the same as what we had seen on the front of the tuck case. Look at that, bam, right? And uh, of course we always start off by taking a look at the extra cards here. So we see the card on top was the Aristo Steampunk playing cards, looks like the Kickstarter card. And I was told this is a very special edition card and it's only available through the Kickstarter edition. So pretty cool. And the second one, as you can see, is actually the Ace of Spades design. And uh, similar to what we saw on the back of the tuck case, just without the words. And it has a bit more of a greater color contrast. Moving on to the Jokers, I'm a huge fan of the first one. I like the black and white actual Joker with the mask that looks like it's something from the Black Plague. And the second one, it looks like it's a woman walking down the train station holding a briefcase and some kind of stringed instrument right there. And uh, one thing that I like about this is that the Joker text is written in red. And I feel like that provides a very nice accent to the card. And now taking a look at the Ace of Spades next, we can see that it's the same as the other Aces that we had seen throughout the video, either on top of the tuck case or on the extra ad card that we saw earlier. And I was quickly going through all of the faces. The deck, of course, is a new deck order, but I gotta say one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is this border, especially these, this border that's around the uh, small pips and indices. I just, I'm not a fan, man. I just don't, not a super fan of that. Of course, comparing to our regular bicycle deck, you can see a big difference between the pips and indices, them being much smaller and of a different font. While again, as I just mentioned, having that border. The main design of the cards themselves though, that's really well designed. Like the artwork is just phenomenal on this deck. Um, I would probably still prefer it to be a two-way design versus the single uh, way that it currently exists. But again, fantastic artwork. You can also see that all the face cards are custom. And again, the artwork on them is just, it's amazing. I don't even know how else to describe it. It is just amazing. This guy, I'm telling you, this guy knows how to draw. Unreal. In terms of handling, you saw me messing around with these cards a little earlier. Nothing too great on that end. I would say they handle like a regular uh, bicycle deck. So I wouldn't really use them for any type of cardistry, but definitely great for games at the card table. And of course, great for card magic. And of course, speaking of card magic, the question is, does this deck come with any secrets? Unfortunately, it hurts me to say that it does not. I would have loved to see some sort of reveal or cool markings to differentiate cards, but this deck really doesn't have much of that. However, it does come with that special K card, which I showed you earlier as the extra card that was only available with the Kickstarter campaign. This actually brings me to talk about Aristo's Kickstarter campaign for volume two of this deck. And I gotta say there are a couple things that I didn't like about this first version. 
that included the borders around the pips and the one-way car design. But volume two literally just steps it up to another level and actually addresses this. So in volume two of this deck, there are no borders around the pips and all the faces of the cards are two-way designs. On top of that, it has incredible metallic colors, which just really just steps it up from this first volume that I have currently in my hands right here. So winding down a little bit now, of what I change about this deck, I think volume two covers pretty much most of it. Um, I would still like to see some kind of reveal or a cool hidden secret within this deck. I think that always adds a little bit more value out of it. Uh, but all that being said, I truly believe that this first version is a fantastic steampunk deck. And volume two may just be the best steampunk deck out there. The best. Make sure you guys go ahead and support the Kickstarter campaign for volume two of this deck. I'll put the link down in the description. And I'm telling you, this will be the best steampunk deck. Chris Ramsey himself will be proud. And that's all I got for you today, guys. If you wanna see more deck reviews, make sure to go check out that playlist right there. And I'll see you in one of those videos. Peace out.